is dead. President Biden. In okay, has here we go. The economy, stupid. It's always the economy. Since you took office, the price of essentials has increased. For Oops. example, a basket of groceries that cost $100 then now costs more than $120. And typical home prices have jumped more than 30%. What do you say to voters who feel they are worse off under your presidency than they were under <laughs> look President Look at his Biden? face. Well, I'll take a look at what I was asked when I became president. And what Every Trump president said. says this. Uh-huh. Every so fucking God president God. says this. Every well, goddamn president well, says this. Biden, all he said was, it's not that serious. Just inject a little bleach into your arm. You'll be all right. He oh, call. my gosh. He can't stop. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no That's problem. a lie. <laughs> to 15%. Come on. It was terrible. And so what we had to do is try to put things back together again. And that's exactly what we began to do. We created 15,000 new jobs. And we brought out another position where we have 800,000 <gasps> oh, jobs. He's doing bad. Why in Bobby XC has stopped working? Yeah. The jobs he created are shitty gig jobs. Table, so it sucks. Things weren't able to be met during the month. It was a, a problem. Price of eggs, the price of gas. I'm price already good angry. Housing, the price of a whole range of things. That's why I'm working so hard to make sure I deal with those Because there's a fairly big delay sure on this one, too. Is there like five or seven minutes? It's like one or two minute delay or something like that. It's two minutes. Yeah. Units. We're going to make sure we cap rents so corporate greed can't take over. The combination that I was left with in corporate greed is the reason why we're in this problem right now. In addition to that, we're in a situation where if you had to take a look at all that was done in his administration, he didn't do much at all. By the time he left, there were things were in chaos, literally chaos. And so we put things back together. We created, I said, those yeah, jobs. Yeah, because the sure We had a situation where it was chaos. Is that, well, there was chaos right. in his administration. It's so, it's so like, rumble, rumble crash, by the way. Oh, yeah. I can't get in at all. Wow. I can't get in either. Oh, really? Weird. Yeah. Yeah, let's. Well, it, it, it fucking is it. It straight up crashed. Um, Roth can still works, but. Yeah, Rumble's just crashed. I can't get in. It says I'll, bad gateway. I'm checking how X is doing. We, X, is, we X is doing okay, so yeah, is let's fine. just keep going. Mm-hmm. We now we brought down the price of prescription drugs, which is a major issue for many people. It's to fifteen dollars for, for uh, people can't uh, afford it. Show, so. As opposed to four hundred dollars, no senior has to pay more than two hundred dollars for any drug. All the drugs they can include beginning next year. At least oh Canadian my man! Make that available After everybody. they're dead, of course. So we're he's, to bring down he's just reading off a script. Thank you, President Trump. We have the greatest economy in the history of our country. <laughs> we have never done so well. Every, everybody was amazed by it. Other countries were copying us. We got hit with COVID. And when we did, we, what, what other countries were copying you? I wouldn't end up in a great depression, the likes of which we China? in 2029. By the time we finished, China. we did a great job. We got a lot of credit for the economy, a lot of credit for the military, and no wars, and so many other things. Everything was rocking you good. You continue the, the wars, We never got the credit fate. for, and we You're should like have, is getting us them. out of that COVID mess. Uh, he created mandates. That was a disaster for our country. But other than that, that we had, was, we had but... given them back a a country where the stock market actually was higher than pre-COVID, and nobody thought that was even possible. Uh, the only jobs he created are for illegal immigrants and bounce back jobs the bounce back from the COVID. He has not done a good job. He's done a poor job and inflation's killing our country. It is absolutely killing us. Is Biden Thank sleep? you, President Biden. Well, look, the greatest oh, economy in the world. He, he's the only one who thinks that, I think. I don't know anybody else who thinks he's the greatest, the greatest economy in the world. And, you know, the fact of the matter is that uh, we found ourselves in a situation where his, his economy, he rewarded like, the wealthy. Uh, he had the largest tax cut in American history, $2 trillion. You want the wealthy too, too motherfucker. Term. Trump is proud of those tax cuts. I feel like I said he's embarrassed by those tax cuts. <laughs> than he had when he began, since Herbert Hoover. He brags about The idea about that he did something that was significant in the military. You know, when he was president, they were still killing people in Afghanistan. He didn't do anything about and that. And you are too, fucker. he was fucker. president, we were still finding ourselves in a position where you had a notion that we were this safe country. The truth is, is he confused? I'm the only president. Oh, you're funding a genocide. This, this Come on. No, but Trump continued to kill people in Afghanistan. 
<laughs> you can't be like that. this guy did more imperialism when you're funding ethnic cleansing. You expired <laughs> potato. You potato that was found at the back of Walmart that fell out of the garbage fucking Jesus Christ. This is already great. Let's keep going. That's oh my god. Oh my god. Is god. It, it's they're both it's both completely controlled. And that they they they're paused in their mics. They can't like go back at each other. It's basically just like reading a script. Back yeah, it, it, it's this it's this boring. kind. This is way this is way more boring than any other. Yeah, this is a lot. I'm. Hey, let's see. Let's, this is terrible. This is actually. Let's not, let him, if it was let him you, go. I would have watched Trump. Uh, I want to follow up if I can. You Am want I to respond to him? Well, I'm going to ask Am you to follow up. You can do whatever you want with them. They don't even know the rules. They don't even know. No, it, it, yeah. you. Um, <laughs> I, I want to follow up. You, you want to impose a 10 percent tariff on all goods coming into the U.S. How will you ensure that that doesn't drive prices even higher? It's not going to drive so higher. It's just going to cost countries that have been ripping us off for years like China and many others. China. To China. China. It's going to just force them to pay China. us a lot of money, reduce our deficit tremendously and give us a lot of power for other things. The but Chinese already gives a lot of money. Statement. The only thing he was right about is I gave you the largest tax cut in history. I also gave you the largest regulation cut in history. That's why we had all the jobs and the jobs went down and then they bounced back and he's taking credit for bounce back jobs. You can't do that. He also said you know, can't do that. Inflation. <laughs> he inherited all like you, can't, you can't do that. He's well, like that, a that, little kid. What, what, what does what that he mean? mean? What's you can't that? do that. I, I think what he means it. Well, okay, well, well, sorry, sorry. Which is it? Reopened. Which is it, though? Because you can't, like, okay, you can't, like, you can't be, like, I inherited this mess from the previous dude. And then also be like, oh, but like he's taking credit for 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 our shit. You got to pick a thing like, holy fuck. Almost no inflation. And it stayed that way for 14 months. And then it blew up under his leadership because they spent money like a bunch of people that didn't know what they were doing. And they don't know what they were doing. It was the worst, probably the worst administration in history. There's never yeah. been. And as far as Afghanistan is concerned, I was getting out of Afghanistan, but we were getting out with dignity, with... No, he was no, no, with power, no, he got no, out. It was the most embarrassing no. day in the history of our country's life. Well, to be that fair, was Trump, over the last Wait, eight years, out. under <laughs> both of your administrations, the national debt soared got to out. record highs. <laughs> and hey, to no, the Taliban got in, and you know what? They got rid of all the poppy seed fields. Yeah. <laughs> We were then going, you know, no then more you wonder, then you wonder then you wonder who's funding the the you know the global uh uh heroin trade. Mm -hmm. It's not the it's not the Taliban, it's not the mm -hmm. Saudis. They don't like Trump it. Is like new nonpartisan analysis, dead. President Trump. Your administration approved yeah, four trillion happened. dollars in new debt. Well, so far, President Biden, you've approved four point three trillion died. dollars in new debt. So, former President Trump, many of the tax cuts <laughs> that are signed into law are set to expire. He looks lost. You yeah, want to he extend is them lost. and go even <laughs> further, you say. With the U.S. Did, facing trillion dollar dollars deficits debt. and record debt, why should top earners and corporations pay even less in taxes than they do now? Because the tax cuts spurred the greatest economy that we've ever seen just prior to COVID. And even after COVID, it was so strong that we were able to get through COVID much better than just about any other country. But we spurred that tax spurred now. When we cut the taxes, as an example, the uh, corporate tax was cut down to 21 percent from 39 percent plus beyond that. Uh, we took in more revenue with much less tax and companies were bringing back trillions of dollars back into our country. The Trilli country was back into our country. Before. OK. OK. We were to Sorry. Start paying down debt. We we're going to start using the liquid gold right under our feet. <laughs> the the, oily this doesn't right under our feet. We were going to have my fucking guy. My fucking guy, okay? We live under capitalism, okay? It's not like he's literally just doing trickle down. That's all he's doing here. He's doing trickle down. He's like, we brought in all this money. No, it went to the fucking capitalist dude. It didn't go back into the economy because these fuckers hoard wealth like dragons. You, you're not. Oh my Apple. God. Apple's Nobody holding over a trillion dollars. We wealth. got hit with COVID. We did a lot to fix it. I gave him an unbelievable situation with all of the therapeutics and all of the things that we came up with. We, we gave him something great. Remember, more people died under his administration 
even though we had largely fixed it. More people died under his administration <laughs> than our administration. And we were COVID's in the middle a virus. Of it, you something can't fix which a lot dick. of people don't like to talk about. But he had far more people dying in his administration. He did the it's mandate, like saying which I is a disaster, the flu. mandating it. When the vaccine went out. He did a mandate on the vaccine, which is the thing that people most objected to about the vaccine. And he did a very poor job, just a very poor job. And I will Trump tell you, not only vaccine. poor there, but throughout the entire world, oh, yeah. they're no longer respected as a Operation country. Warp they don't respect speed. You did the vaccine, bitch. The That's States on you. He acts like, like in a world Biden. between weaponization of his election, trying to go after his political opponent, all of the things he's done. We've become like a third world nation. And it's a shame. The damage he's done to our country... And I'd love to ask. I love how they always blame everyone else people to come in but themselves for their country. Oh, it was to the immigrants. Country and no, 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 it definitely was the people who lived here their whole lives. We'll get to immigration uh, later in this block. President yeah, Biden, uh, lost, I want to give you an opportunity to respond to this question about the national debt. This should be the good. the largest national debt of any president in four-year period, number one. Number two, you got two trillion dollar oh, tax that, 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 that's not a very wealthy. But I gotta go what I'm going to do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America, <laughs> I mean, billionaires in America. And what's happening? <laughs> in a situation where they, in fact, pay 8.2 percent in taxes. I just that. If they just pay 24 percent, 25 percent, either one of those numbers, and they've raised 500 million, a thousand trillionaires in America. I mean, billionaires in America. And what's happening? Yeah, just There's numbers don't matter. Just, they in fact just go, Queen. Two percent in taxes. If they just paid twenty four percent, twenty five percent. What happened to these fact checkers they brought in? Five hundred million dollars. I don't know. It just went away. What? In your period. Where did they go? Right, wipe out his debt. We'd be able to help make sure that all those things we need to do: child care, elder care, making sure that we continue to strengthen our health care system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person. Uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID. Excuse me. With, what? Um, <laughs> I don't understand what he said. I don't understand what he said. Task manager, bring up task manager. Uh-huh. Okay, bring up <laughs> Biden task manager. We got to figure this out. I don't, I don't know. know. What the fuck he said? He's looking down. If He's done. We finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden, President what? Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because we know Biden. We know you be Medicare. They're putting them on which what on Medicare. They're putting them on Social Security. They're going to destroy Social Security. This man is going to single handedly destroy Social Security. These millions and millions of people coming in. They're trying to put them on Social Security. He will wipe out. Social Security. He will wipe out Medicare. So he was right in the way he finished that sentence. And it's a shame. What's happened to our country in the last four years is not to be believed. Foreign countries, I'm friends with a lot of people. They cannot believe what happened to the United States of America. We're no longer respected. They they don't like us. We give them everything they want and they, they think we're stupid. They think we're very stupid people. What we're doing for other countries, and they do nothing for us. What this man has done is absolutely. Except for all the wealth generated, you know. Thank you, President Trump.